Hello, my lovelies. Do I appear to be better illuminated? Um, I have real lights. Uh, I would like to give a shout out and a huge thank you to Chad Ling. Uh, my friend Chad had some lights sitting at his house that he wasn't using and donated them to the greater good of this channel because he is an awesome human being. <sighs> all hail Chad, hip hip hooray, huzzah, all that. Any boodles. Let's do today's hair. So, this is a one-off. As in, this is my week off. Why am I doing hair? Well, you guys, here in the USA, it is 4th of July weekend, which means most of us have a barbecue to go to of some sort, uh, including me, including my friend Samantha. My friend Samantha um, is one of those girls with some natural curls. Not crazy curls, but enough that when the humidity strikes, it can sometimes be problematic. Um, so she wanted something that would embrace her curls, but still be big, because it's like she had, it's like she said, because uh, of course I was like, well, we could always just do braids and stuff. And she's like, then it makes my head look really small. So I need the, I need it bigger. So I had an idea. Um, let's do the uh, Regency hairstyle I did a million years ago. Uh, you know, the one with the curly ball. Um, and switch it around so it's not a Regency style anymore, but something we could wear today. And that's what we're doing. And we're calling it the Samantha because you guys know how creative I am when it comes to hairstyles. Since I do not have natural curls to work with, I have to make my own. So what I did is I slept and I dampened my hair and I Dutch braided it and I slept in it. The ends of those braids, I rolled up in soft rollers. This is how you avoid spaghetti ends. You know, all your hair is beautiful waves and then stick straight on the end. Not if you soft roll the ends. For each braid, I do two because it gives me more curls. So I'm gonna take this down and then we're gonna do this hairstyle. And it's gonna be glorious. See, look, curly ends, which is what we need because we need curls because I have to pretend I have them. Manufactured curls. All right, uh, back okay, so, got it all down. Uh, here you go. Uh, alas, you can't really see well from this vantage point. You got a great shot of my boobs, though. Uh, <laughs> sorry, guys. But, uh, you know, we're trying here. Is that enough? Um, I cannot wait until I get a new camera, you guys. You have no idea. So, any hoodles, uh, we are separating out. Uh, I had a small issue, and unfortunately I was halfway through the hairstyle before I realized it wasn't recording. So I had to undo and come back. Any hoodles, um, you need to take a section from the front. Uh, I decided to do mine opposite of my natural part, just to give me more volume. And this is going to address uh, a question I got recently about how do I do the bang poof and make it stay, which is hairspray. And you guys know my bangs were really limp. Unfortunately, I had already hairsprayed and moved on, but I'm still gonna show you how it works. So you take the section that you want for the pretty part, as it were, and I'm going to run a brush through this real quick. And then you twist. Um, and then you poof. I usually twist and then I poof and that is that a good poof? You have to pick where you want your poof to be. I know that this in the front is a little crazy but that looks like a pretty decent poof. And then you pen. Bobby pins. I'm gonna pin in the X pattern. Pin number one. Pin number two overlaps. Pin number one, like so. And you see, today, but you see my bangs are a little crazy. These hairspray. I don't use a lot of products on my hair usually. Um, like I don't use a lot of gels or molds or waxes. But because my bangs are the way they are, I do use hairspray. It's not a lot. And it's basically just for my bangs because I have thin bangs. Some days I want bangs. 
Some days I don't want bangs, and the days I don't want bangs, I need hairspray to help me. They are just my bangs, and it's not like I use hairspray constantly, every day, and it's fine. It's totally fine. Okay, let me get my hair that we had pulled out. Now, as you guys can see, we have pins showing. Now, if you use enough hairspray, you can usually take the pins out and it'll stay, but I'm going to make a flower because I love to make flowers out of my own hair. It makes me happy. Now granted, I am probably going to add some other flowers to my hair, but having one made out of my own delights me. So with this, I am rope braiding. And my friend Jamie Burnett just went curses because she hates rope braids. You can English braid this if you want. I do rope braids because uh, they wind easy for flowers and they're really, really fast. That's why. I just, I like them. Um, the fastest braid in the West. So I'm going to braid all the way to the end. I am not going to add a hair tie because we are going to roll this up into a flower to cover those pins um, because I really hate for my works to show. And then we're going to make an awesome curly ball on the back of our head with what's left over. Um, almost to the end, guys. Almost to the end. Sorry, I just didn't have to edit that. Um, you see that I'm already sweating because of these new lights. That'll take some getting used to. And we are at the end. End. So, with this little bit, I'm just going to wrap that curl around my finger. Give it two. Pull my finger out. And then we're going to roll. Um, if your hair is a little shorter than mine, feel free to take like one side and pull your strands so you get those nice big petals. Um, but I find that I have so much length, I don't even bother with those more often than not. Um, for the simple fact that my flowers end up being big with just my hair. So, uh, also why I don't pancake braids very often. Um, I have not yet found it super necessary. This comes up, and we put it right here. And now we have a little flower. There's going to be a weird edit because I don't know what I was saying. I went to get my pins out of my bag, hadn't unzipped it, tried to use my teeth, and then just got makeup all over my But I found one so I can use both hands. Any hoodles. Uh, we've got a flower. We're pinning the flower. These pins, these big U pins, if you have Amish pins, use those. I still do not own any real, honest-to-goodness Amish pins. Good. It's staying good enough so I can get another one out. You guys, I'm so organized! Sort of, for me. Um, so, yes, but for these flowers especially, um, and this is, I usually try and pinch the ends together so that when they pop out on the inside, it they kind of expand and hold better. Um, I don't know. It seems to be the, the way it works for me. Three pins ought to do it, though. We'll see. But, oh, I'm going to need a fourth just because that one's being a little... I didn't apparently catch it with anything else. Um, I don't use these pins a lot. I'm using them today. Uh, because for some things, these are the best pins for the job. Um, especially things that deal with, like, curls and spirals. So, you see? We have a flower made of our hair. All right, next step, we're doing JJJ's pretzel bun um, because that is going to be the base of our curly ball. If you have watched the Regency hairstyle I did, let's be careful on this side a little bit, um, then you know how this is going to go. But maybe you haven't because it is an older vid. Okay, that looks pretty good. So, we take all our hair, we wrap it around our hands, we pull it over this way. Now, this is good. Um, if you have shorter hair than I do, just put it in a ponytail and start from there. If your hair is the same length as mine is, um, I might actually have to wrap twice. I am. The first time I did this, I only had to wrap one. So, if your hair is a little shorter than mine, wrap once. If it is my length, you gotta go twice around now. 
my hair really has grown since I started this channel and then pull through and if you have more hair than I have by all means wrap a third time now we have to pin this down today I am using spin pins you can use bobby pins you can use big giant U pins you can use whatever pins you want because they're not going to be seen but I like spin pins because it only takes two to hold all of my hair up, um, which is really nice. And it's really secure and they're hidden even though it doesn't particularly matter. Yay! Yay! So now we have a cute pony. How does that look? Looks cute from the front. That's a little weird. No, that's not bad at all. If you would like to stop now, feel free. I'm not going to stop. So now what we're going to do is pin down our curls and make a little ball of messy curls. And to pin these down, I am using the long U-pins. Mm -hmm. So this is what we do. We take a curl, take about an inch section or so, take your finger, twirl like so, and then just kind of squish it. We're going to pin into the bun underneath. Um, that's all we're doing. And then our curl is kind of free and loose. This is what we're doing with all of our curls. And I realize you can't see what I'm doing because I am tilted. Yay. Try it again, shall we? Inch of hair. Take your finger. Do a little loop. Pin down that loop. And you're just pinning into the bun we created right underneath. Now, if you were one of my girls that didn't get much of a bun underneath um, and you started from a pony, you may need to use bobby pins to hold these down because these pin great into buns, bun forms, things like that, other hair. You see like we've got going? They do not pin great on just your, you know, the flatness of your head. So you'll have to use a bobby for that. Um, so yeah, so this is what I'm doing. I'm creating loops to take up that little extra bit of length and then I'm going to pin the loops down and leave the curly ends free to do what they wish, which is the curly ends. So let me get this done and then I'll be back and we'll add our decorations and we'll be done. All right, dolls, are you ready? Look at that, isn't that fancy? Doesn't that look awesome? It is so soft, it is so pretty. You can embrace the frizzy humidity because it's meant to look kind of wild, kind of soft. Frizz will not hurt you. This is a perfect barbecue hairstyle because you will be the most glamorous person there and you see this is not difficult to do it looks extra fancy because of our little flower which takes no time and all of our very long hair is up in a pretty fashion off of our neck out of the way and one of the really nice things about this hairstyle is it does not hurt i know you're thinking, but you put a lot of pins in it. The beauty of this is the only pins I feel on my head are the two spin pins that I initially put in, which is why I use those because if you've ever used spin pins, you don't really feel them. Once they're in, they're in. Um, all the rest of the pins we put in go into the bun, but not into, like onto our scalp. So this actually is supremely comfortable. Now we're going to dress it up. As you see, we do not have to. We don't have to do anything to this. This is dressy. It is perfect the way it is. But I can't help myself, and you know I love stuff. Also, I have like red, white, and blue flowers. So I am going to add things to this because I can. Um, I should probably take pictures without, but you know, whatevs. So, we can do real simple one red flower. And be done. Pretty, yes. But of course, this is me. Um, and I made, I made, made 
flowers to go with this dress specifically, so I'm going to use some. Um, I'll put one of these down here. I won't put too many, I promise. And then I'll put one of these up here. There. I don't think that's too much. That's okay. Flower on one side. Let me look. Let's look and see. No, I don't know. No, I think that's okay. I think it's all right. Should we? No. Yes. Okay. I think that's good. Yes. Yes. Okay. Look. I I kept myself from being too crazy. So that is our hair for today. This is our uh, summertime barbecue hair, our 4th of July hair, our Samantha do. That's what it is. Named for my friend Samantha. The Samantha. It's beautiful, just like she is. She really is, you guys. She has always been beautiful. But there you go. We like. I love this. I am wearing this to my barbecue this weekend. Hopefully Samantha will also wear a version. We're going to take pictures and send each other so that we have joy in our lives. So if you decide that you are going somewhere this weekend and do this hairstyle, be a part of the club. Um, everybody send in pictures because I find that delightful. Anyways, um, let me fix my lobster necklace. That's it for me today. I'll see you guys next week. I hope you enjoy this hair tutorial. As you can tell, I'm filled with joy today for two reasons. One, I have lights. Two, it is a fairly low pain day. I'm giddy. So I'm sorry about that. <laughs> I love you guys. I'll see you next week. Have a great weekend, a wonderful holiday. And if you're one of my international girls, just party like it's the 4th of July. That means fireworks, beer, and smoked meats. Probably some potato salad. Okay, I'll see you next week. Bye, my lovelies.